Like after we finished Compton, it was like Dre just looked at me like, next, you next. <laughs> he said Detox is dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then from that point on, one day I came to the studio and Dre was like, yeah, I think I'm going to call it Compton. Yo, can I tell my For the Love of Money story? Yeah, tell please, story. Your story please, please. please. Mom. Let me tell y'all, I had the say what's up to the broke nigga at the rich party line in my head for like a month. <laughs> I'm like, I'm saying this on something. And I remember hearing the beat and it was like, yep. This it. Like this is this is the one. And it and I remember when I said it, Dre walked past the B room in record one and he came in like, What the fuck is that? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like Man, it's just something I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? And then he was just like uh he was like I just remember he was like, That's how you start a rap song. That's how you start a song and I'm like, Why are you like it like that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the hook when I first wrote it, it was like some chopped and screwed. It was it was like I kinda took the lazy way out of making a hook. You know what I'm saying? And Dre just gave me that look like that ain't <laughs> you it. Know. <laughs> <laughs>